Fill in your baby mold with fondant or gum paste with whatever color shade that you want your baby to be. Press your paste firmly, making sure that you cover the entire crease of your mold. This will make sure that you get all the details correctly. Then simply pop it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. Gently pull away the fondant from the mold and carefully take your piece out. Paint his hair using some brown edible powder. This step is not necessary, but I wanted a cute touch. So basically, I am using an imprint mat that I'm putting on top of black bond on so that it will create a wool effect. Cut out a square shape using the smallest cutter that you have. And then because it was a little bit too big, I'm cutting a third of that at the bottom and on the sides. Glue your piece to your figurine using a small amount of water. Water and fondant will create glue. Create a towel using some black fondant and glue it with a little bit of water. To create little buttons, simply roll out two pieces of pink fondant and glue it at the top of the typer. Flatten them out using your smallest ball tool and then simply create two creases using a toothpick. Cut out two round shapes of black fondant using your smallest plunger. Brush a small amount of water at the top of the baby's head and glue both pieces together. To finish the look, glue a small bow at the bottom of the ears. And there you go. This is how I create my little Minnie Mouse cake topper. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my free channel. Click on the pictures to find out how it's done. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.